Hello, my friends. Good morning. Are you ready for your next lesson of the day? And it is math and it's already Wednesday. Time is going by so quickly. I hope you're ready with the lesson that we are going to work on today is 12.8, boys and girls. Now, we're gonna learn to use, again, the number line. And before, we were using the number line to add, and this time, we are going to use the number line to subtract. So, which means that your numbers are going to be less. The answer is going to be less, right, than what you're starting with. And I'll give you a couple exam of examples before we start our paper. So again, we're on 12.8, and I will share my paper with you, my screen. But first, let's go ahead and skip count by twos, boys and girls. Are you ready? Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. You did it, boys and girls. You counted by twos all the way to 100. All right, I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna share my screen now, boys and girls, and we are going to take a look at this paper. We are talking about number lines and how to subtract using the number line. Remember we had the hippity hoppity kangaroo to add? This time we have a Mr. Dolphin and it says to write each number sentence. Now we're gonna be using the number line to subtract. That means that instead of going to the right like Mr. Kangaroo did, we're going to jump like a beautiful dolphin going the opposite way. That means that you're gonna go backwards, right? You're going opposite way and the numbers are getting smaller. You're counting down. All right, here we go. We are going to look at the directions. It says write each number sentence. Remember, number sentences are exactly what it says. You're using numbers to make a sentence right here and it's going to be filling out those spaces. I'm going to be using for the first example different colors, but then after that I'll be using my normal regular color black so we can move through the paper. Okay, so we are going to start with number what? Eight, because that's where Mr. Dol Dolphin is actually starting. So the number eight is right here, right under the word start. You see that? That's number eight. That's the number um, eight because he's starting there. Then how many times, look over here, look at this word, how many times is he going to jump back? You're counting back. Let's see, one, two. Okay, so that's what you're gonna put here, number two. And then where is he landing? Where is Mr. Dolphin landing? At the six, and that's where you're going to stop. Right, boys and girls? So then the problem right there that it says, the number sentence says eight minus two equals six, right? So now let's move on. And like I said, I will be using my regular color, my black right here, and to fill in those number sentences. So we're starting at eight again. You're writing an eight. And now you could go ahead and draw a little snowman, remember the head and the body, and that looks like an eight, and that's Great, you can use that. So how many times is Mr. Dolphin jumping? One, so you count back one. From eight, you count back one, seven, right? And then you write number one right here because you jumped one time. And then you stop at the seven because you only counted back one. You're counting from eight, jumping back seven, okay, one time. Now let's see where Mr. Dolphin is here for problem number three. He is, again, you're writing the number eight, you're starting at number eight, 
you're counting back twice. So you're, let's count back two times, right? Well, let's actually, let's see how many times he is jumping. We can't say twice, right? We have to see first. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. So you're counting actually back four times, boys and girls. So we're, we're starting at eight and we count back four times. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four. And you're landing on four. So then the number problem will say eight minus four equals four. You're landing on the four, right? See that? You're counting back. Now let's go on to our other side of the paper, flippity floppity, and let's find and see what they're doing here. Okay, boys and girls, so here you're doing the opposite. You're looking at where Mr. Dolphin is and you're trying to locate, you're trying to see which one of those two number sentences matches what Mr. Dolphin is, is doing. So they might try to trick you. So if you notice, where is Mr. Dolphin starting? At the six, right? Well, look, these number sentences that they give you a choice from, they are both starting with number six. So you have to look at how many times is Mr. Dolphin jumping? Is he jumping three times or one time? Let's see, one. And where is he landing? On the five. So then this one would be the one that matches Mr. Dolphin. Six minus three, six minus one equals five. So see, that one is the one that matches Mr. Dolphin. Six minus one, and it lands on the five. So you're counting back, right? Very good. Now we have a, three more problems. Here we go. Now look again. It's starting on the, where is Mr. Dolphin starting, boys and girls? On the eight. So there it is again, starting off the eight. Oh, two of the problems are starting with an eight. But how many times is Mr. Dolphin jumping? Let's see. One, two, three times. <gasps> Which one of those problems has a three next? You're jumping back three times. You're minusing three times. Is this one or this one? Minusing three. You're right. This one is jumping back. So the answer is eight minus three equals, look, eight jumping back three times equals what? Five, right? Okay, you got it. Now let's go to the next one. We are going to go to the number, to number um, four now. Let's see what Mr. Dolphin is doing. He is at number seven. Oh, they're both starting with number seven. But let's see how many times did Mr. Dolphin jump? Let's see, all right? Here we go. Um, one, two. Huh. Which one of those two numbers to choose from is number two next? Did you get that? It's this one, you are right. Because seven minus two, jumping back two times, is landing on the five. You got it, you got it. All right, now let's do the last one. Now they're both starting. Let's see, Mr. Dolphin, starting on the seven, they're trying to trick you again. Look, seven, seven. But how many times did he jump? Let's see, one, two, three, four. <gasps> Which one of these is, is a four? This one, right? Number this first one. Did it land on the three like this? Yes, so this is right. This one land on five. That would have said it would land, Mr. Dolphin would have landed on the five, right? And that would not be correct. So that first number sentence matches what Mr. Dolphin is doing. All right. So I hope I didn't go too fast again. And remember, you can always go back and look at this front page, or you could go back, you can go forward and look and at that last page that we just did right now, okay? Whatever you need, whatever you need to do, that is fine. All right, well, let me go ahead and stop sharing so I can talk to you and let you know just how proud I am. And boys and girls, just keep practicing. That's all you need to do to have a great math mind, all right?
I hope you have a nice day and, and just make good choices. We will talk to you again soon, okay? And guys, you are very, very smart. So keep practicing. Bye.